Welcome to this new installment of Fact Theist. In today's episode, we will discuss about a strange but innocuous condition called exploding head syndrome. People experiencing this trouble are jolted awake by a very loud noise in their head while falling asleep or sometimes as they wake up. A loud noise often described as similar to a clap, a gunshot, no, I said a gunshot. Yeah, that's more like it. A cymbal clash. An explosion or something close to thunder. In 10% of the cases, people even report visual disturbances such as flashes of light, static or lightning. Sometimes individuals may experience distress, shortness of breath, confusion, sweat and feelings of heat in the torso, tachycardia, spasmodic jerks, and an overwhelming distress. Despite being totally normal, some people can still argue that this sensation is obviously an outcome of a mass control program from the government. Or robots from the future, whatever! So exploding head syndrome can sometimes be linked to conspiracy theories. This could be a, a, a lot more, uh, 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 complex. I mean, it's not just, it might not be just such a simple, uh, you know? So what are the causes of this terrifying? but totally harmless phenomenon. Well, first you have to understand the various stages of sleep, and especially sleep patterns and cycles. Long story short. Why do people say long story short? They're not making it short. When you are awake and totally aware, your brain emits beta waves. When you are on chillax mode, totally slack and slowly drifting towards sleep, your brain radiates alpha waves. When you cross the line between awareness and light sleep, then your brain shifts to theta waves. Next, when you enter deep sleep, your brain reaches delta waves. Then, finally, comes REM sleep, which stands for rapid eye movement. During REM sleep, can you stop that please? I don't even like that band. So during REM sleep your brain waves and pattern are basically the same as an awakened person, mainly because neurons fire with the same intensity as in awakefulness. The brain waves are desynchronized with the hippocampus emitting theta waves but with the cortex emitting gamma waves. REM sleep is also known as the dreaming state. This head moving makes my eyes rain. <laughs> it is also known to be the very moment your brain processes informations. The same gamma waves are found in the brain during awakefulness when you figure something out. When you learn something new or find the correct answer to a riddle, so that makes sense. Do you get it so far? Can you dig it? When you enter the first stage of sleep, between alpha and theta waves, your brain slowly switches off from the front to the back. Switch front to back, side to side. From now on, as you are almost totally asleep, your body is under the responsibility of your brain stem, the oldest part of the brain, in charge of vital body stuff, like cardiac and respiratory functions, temperature, sleep cycles and regulation of the central nervous system, I told you, the basic stuff. So inside this brain stem thing thing, there is a set of almost a hundred interconnected nuclei called the reticular formation, which is involved in maintaining sensory motor reflex and control, behavior arousal and consciousness. So in the reticular formation, there is a cluster of neurons, the locus coeruleus. Locus coeruleus. <laughs> locus coeruleus. Which allows you to dream. You're getting warmer, it is indeed in the brain. But also prevents your body from acting out your dreams. 
but sometimes, during this alpha brainwave transition state, glitches can happen as everything is not totally or properly shut down. Glitches in the reticular formation. You call this a glitch? Like minor seizures, neurons firing all at once, affecting the temporal lobe, the part of the brain containing the auditory cortex. As the auditory system is suddenly and or heavily excited, it will trigger this loud noise effect. Then jolting you awake. It jolts you awake, it snaps you out of the dream. Can you dig it? Hence the other names of this syndrome. Sensory discharge. Snapping of the brain. Or more recently, episodic cranial sensory shock a term which better reflect the whole range of symptoms. Other hypothesis may also explain exploding head syndrome, psychological stress and anxiety, disrupted sleep pattern, especially a decline in REM sleep, ear dysfunction, like rupture of inner membranous tissues, hey, <laughs> or any shifts in the Ustarkin tube or middle ear, post-traumatic stress disorder calcium channel dysfunction, connection to headaches and epilepsy, antidepressant discontinuation syndrome, how am I supposed to get my medication now, nerve dysfunction, or even specific genetic changes can also trigger this trouble in the brain. Exploding head syndrome is classified as a parasomnia. Parasomnias are sleep disorders involving abnormal emotions, perceptions, dreams, behavior or movements during any stage of sleep or in between. So far no treatment or medication has been proven effective to avoid or reduce exploding head syndrome, beside of course informations and reassurance afterward. Oh my son. <laughs> That's it for this episode of Fact Theist, we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching, and now it's time for Disco 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 Disco